put in that fictitious um, teacher here and some students. There are keys down here too. So this is an example that you can use. So let's say John is here for reading and writing. Let's say we're going to Mary. He's here for uh, Let's say that she is yellow level SAT reading. And so for notes, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to use these notes so that if a student is here only for this week, you can do that. Let's say that the student has a test on uh, Monday, an interim test. And let's say that's a math test. Okay. And let's say that. Uh, let's say that Chris has an actual subject test at school. So that's how you would note these. And you notice that this automatically calculates the number of sessions that there are. The C right here, this column right here is where I want you to put in whether you've called up to confirm the scheduled term out. So if by default, it will be blank. But if you confirm the students, if you call up and confirm them, put in the C. Okay, and every day, if a student attends, then you put a 1 there. If the student is absent, then you put a 0. Okay, and so you can see here that um, it automatically calculates the number of students who actually attend, it calculates the number of sessions, and it calculates your ratio for you automatically. Um, now if you do make any kind of changes to this, you'll just have to make sure that the, the calculations still are working. You can have your teachers um, jot down any notes that they want to give to you. So let's say that your teacher is working with, um, you know, John is working with Mary here, and you might want to jot down that, you know, you know maybe Mary didn't do her homework. Uh-oh. Um, and then maybe he finds out that, you know, uh, Chris's test is now earlier on Friday. And so these are some things that they can jot down. Now here I typed it up, but you can actually write in. They'll have this room right here, and they'll have probably a little bit of room in the margin too. So these are just things that they can jot down. Maybe if the students did the homework or not. Maybe if the kids have a test or not. Maybe if the kids are, um, you know, whatever it is that they want to do. Um, so this is the key for that. If any students that have been absent for more than three times in the month, I'd like you to highlight it then. And you can do that by choosing the highlighting here. Um, now, on the older version of this, you know, like Office 2003, there is also a highlight feature um, that you can see from the toolbar. I can't show you on this one, but there there is one. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Um, now here's a new feature. Uh, right here, this information right here is kind of information for the center director only. So what you can do is you can always you can click on this, and it just collapses it. And when you print, it won't show. Now if you click on it again, it expands it. So that's pretty cool. Now let's say that Sam and Daniel here are going to be on vacation. Well, let's say that Mary and Chris are going to be on vacation for a while. 
what you can do is you can copy this down here and that way you won't lose their place. You'll remember when you look down here that, okay, normally Mary and Chris do come in on these days. Um, and then for notes, you can always put down maybe um, you know, uh, their vacation dates, let's say from um, August 1st through August 10th. That way you'll know when to put them back on the schedule. Um, now, if a student is there for only that that day, you know, on, on this week, only this week, you put in this abbreviation. Um, you can also use these other ones. Um, you know, if it's an excused absence, you can put that in so that teachers don't uh, mark down the hours. If it's an unexcused absence, because maybe they called in uh, just a couple minutes before class, put that in so that teachers know that it is unexcused. If it's a student's first class, you can put this in so that the teachers know to, you know, give extra attention to that student and make that student feel extra welcome. Let's say that a student is, um, it's the student's time at C2 is almost up, or the student maybe has a week left or a couple weeks left before they're going to take their big SAT test. We can maybe put Z, which you know, A through Z. So Z stands for Z, and Z means that maybe there's one, two, or three weeks left. You know, we should really try to get our teachers to motivate. IT test, that way teachers know to review materials so that they'll do well in their ITs. Homework, this is a big one. Let's say a student usually doesn't do a lot of homework, or the parents are demanding for homework. There you go. Let's say the parents want even more homework. Okay, you can put that in. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see, there's an SAT test date. Let's see that this student right here is going to be taking the SAT test in October. Then we can put that little reminder in. And, you know, if, if you can be even more specific with the actual date, then that might even help uh, even more. So let's say 10, 3. Okay. Um, same thing with the ACTs. Um, let's say that you, you need to talk with the teacher about a student. Um, you can put this in so that they'll know to go consult you. Finals or midterms. Let's say a student has a final coming up or a midterm coming up. This can stand for that. So, so we can do this algebra. Um, or actually, you probably want to do this algebra final test or midterm test. Okay, so those are just some notes that you can use. Um, I've just included probably the most basic ones um, and this way no matter whether your teachers teach at one center or at two centers we'll have a uniform um, uh, abbreviations list. Right here this is where I'd like you to put in some teacher information so let's say you know, John is teaching today John Doe Mary Higgins, let's say. Okay, so here I'd also like you to put down what the teacher can teach. You know, SAT, verbal, math, and writing, and maybe all sciences and humanities. All sciences, math, and humanities. And also, um, K through 12 students. But let's say that Mary here um, is uh, only feel comfortable teaching verbal. So SAT verbal, and writing, humanities, and let's say that she's best with the little kids. So let's say K through fifth grade. Um, 
So this is where you can put a lot of useful information.